Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your October 2023 general tarot reading <clears throat> and I am very grateful for you being here. The month of October Sagittarius I feel like it's going to be a month where we're actually going to be checking our financial security, maybe restoring a bit of balance in that area. Maybe we're going to be looking at the context of reciprocity in our lives. So we're going to be more uh, looking more in depth around these topics, around the readings for the lunar eclipses, solar eclipses in the month of October, because we're going to have two eclipses, one in Libra and one in uh, Taurus. But now we're just going to be looking at the general energies for the month of October for you, uh, Sagittarius. So we're going to draw some uh, tarot cards from the Wide Away Tarot deck and then looking at the Fortune Oracle for one advice. All the cards I'm using have links in the description box below. Let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. We have the theme card, Knight of Cups. We have the Focus card, the Ten of Wands. We have the Action card, the Five of Swords. The Challenge card, the King of Wands. The Advice card, the Chariot. And the uh, Probable Outcome, the Tower card. Okay, so there is a lot of, there is a lot of tension for the month of October for you when it comes to what you want to do, what you want to go uh, forward and the challenges that you're facing in this month, Sagittarius. So the theme of this moon is going to, this, this, the theme of this month, Sagittarius, is going to be the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is an energy of offering feelings, but feelings that are not necessarily fully developed. I feel like you really want to become to become more um, open to giving and offering love, right? Maybe even be being the one that makes the first step, being the one that is opening their heart to someone, right? But let's see if you're ready to do this because this is going to be the theme. Maybe someone is going to really draw your attention to your feelings maybe someone is going to ask you to become their knight in shining armor maybe someone will have these expectations of you or you have these expectations of being perceived as someone that can can offer that emotional not um i would say just being um validated in that direction right if you can offer that emotional validation or if you can get the emotional validation right because there is the focus card is actually on making things happen right so i'm wondering if the focus being on the the things that you have to accomplish in your life all the burdens that you have all the things that you need to act on all the multiple chores and, and actions that you need to take around the month of, of October. I feel like you're going to be kind of like burying your head in work, burying your head in just multiple um, multiple activities, right? Maybe they are going to, I feel like they're going to be a way for you to hide from the responsibilities of dealing with an offer of love or an offer of being involved with someone right and this might be even your 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 persona that you're identifying yourself with this person that is always busy always with a heavy burden always with something to do um bless you always very um working very hard right but this is the end of this cycle right so i feel like you're finally getting to a point where you no longer can hide um, in your work you're you no longer can hide behind this this armor of busyness right because the action card here is talking about this combat combativeness is 
asking you to understand how you are pushing people away with maybe even really clever excuses, maybe with clever arguments, maybe even by hurting them um, with your words or not paying attention to their feelings. I feel like you're using their ideas against them and that puts them off, right? And I feel like the action for you here is to understand how you're keeping people away because you're looking at them, at other figures, trying to understand what they're leaving. And yet you have the multiple swords you could use you could you you don't need that many like reasons to to hold on to you can allow others to express their views at some point right because you can't just go through life as a soul figure and it's very important for you to understand because you have the challenge card here there's someone that is looking at the situation and is paying a lot of attention to you, right? Is paying a lot of attention and is ready to take action, is ready to intervene. But it's also there for you if you want to um, get advice. But I feel like with this energy is here, the five of swords and the ten of wands, I feel like you're you're not really open to listening to this person's advice, right? I feel like they're ready to let you know how you can improve they're ready to be your mentor they're ready to even intervene um with with um specific actions in order to to get you out of this this space of self-sabotaging -sabot right just wasting your time with meaningless uh stuff and um becoming more and more isolated right sagittarius so you have to uh, understand that there's someone there that is keeping their eyes on you and they understand the thing and being in a challenging uh, position it they may even bring you the information maybe even like pointing out to you where you're going wrong maybe even like telling that to your face without being um, very, I don't know, uh, being very straightforward, right? Telling you exactly how things are and not um, hiding behind anything, right? We have the chariot card as an advice card, right? And I feel this is very important, especially as it's a major arcana. And I feel this is exactly where your solution lies in the balancing of your own internal energies we have the chariot card here it's a card of someone that has immense potential and drive immense knowledge immense like discipline immense like he has everything to be able to conquer whatever it puts your mind to it but he needs the ability to to lead themselves to lead their own chariot it needs to discipline it needs to understand the needs of the yin and yang and the feminine on the masculine to the good and the bad within themselves you have to understand yourself you have to be aware of your motivations and that's where you need to work on it feels that you like it feels to me like the advice is telling you that you have this complete armor of all the skills that you require, all the beautiful like um, embez like like um, bedazzled armor and everything that you own is just like on the show, but still on the inside you're feeling quite vulnerable, and that's what you need to work on. You need to work on aligning your soul with your. Um, worldly ambitions aligning your spirit with your body with your mind to understand exactly where you are and put everything on the same path and laser focus on what you need to get to and then you're going to be able to move mountains because the possible outcome is the tower card and if you're not going to be dealing with 
um, your internal balance there's going to be a situation that is going to really test you really challenge your status challenge your balance challenge your foundations really um, questioning everything that you thought you knew so far the tower card is coming in to show you where your you have weaknesses to show you where you can lose everything at once so when you can lose everything what is it that you can still rely on what are the timeless skills that you can embody in order for you to rebuild in a more um in a more in a very solid way right in um a situation that can really help you understand what the important things in life are right and really show you what you can trust and what you can't trust right and that is going to be a situation that is illuminating all the illusions that is clarifying all of the things that you you have doubts about right and even if the truth is not necessarily easy to take in it's going to really help you understand what you need to work on so i feel like you should focus on the benefits of every situation every challenge that is coming your way because it's going to definitely put you on the right path to have stability in your life to have long-term stability and that is an amazing lesson to learn. So let's see what the fortune... Oh, there we go. We have plane. A journey is indicated, either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. So maybe check if there's something that you can um, explore, right? The plane can be an exploration. The plane can be a journey of... Of self-discovery maybe you need to time out to understand yourself better right there's nowhere that you can run from yourself even if you if you if you if you're going to be in another time zone you're still going to be having the same sort of soul debates so you need to figure those out even if that means taking a break going on a holiday trying to find yourself maybe to a retreat Maybe to a like a, 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 a like a self discovery journey. This is the time for you to actually dive deep and finally regain the balance within yourself, the reciprocity, the give and take within yourself. Or is your soul receiving what it needs? Right. So I hope this was helpful for you, Sagittarius and thank you so much for being here for the month of october and i hope to see you soon take care